Let's create a performance setup with Geometrium 2 and the variations Max Fallout device. First, I prepared this session in Ableton. It's already prepared, so do that before following this tutorial. You need at least one of the tracks, uh, one audio track with uh, clips. These are audio clips, right? And then you need at least two scenes and each scene have been previously named. So I chose simple names with not spaces or special symbols. So I named my scenes bit one, bit two, bit three and so on. Then let's select the uh, audio track and look for a Max for Live device. So let's select Max for Live in your browser and if you have previously installed Geometrum 2 um, you will find its name in here. Let's select this track and drag and drop Geometrum 2. If you haven't installed it just follow the uh, directions. I will leave that in the description of this video. Let's turn the rendering engine on. Okay, Geometrum is ready. Now let's load vari variations in the same track. Let's look for variations. So if you can't find this uh, mod uh, module, this Max for Light device in this uh, browser is because it haven't been installed yet. So this um, Max for Light device comes with Ableton 12 and you can Download it from your browser or from the Ableton official page. It is part of the performance pack by IFTA. It is great um, because it allows you to store and recall your Max for Light devices parameter values. So, okay, once you have downloaded this and installed it, make sure that they are on the same track. And let's configure variations before starting. So in this case, I will synchronize my variations to my scenes. So the first thing I need to do is link to clip and scene. So I will select this button here and I will deselect sense and mixer because this device can actually be aware of the state of your send channel values and also your mixer so but we don't need that so other thing that i need to do before starting is uh, make sure that i will exclude the max for light devices that i don't want to include in my presets or my variations so when you select this page uh, here you can select if you press select and then you will choose the control that you don't want to remember or the devices that you don't want to remember. This is important because otherwise this thing is going to be remembering a lot of data that is maybe not necessarily for you. In this case, I don't have any other Max for Light device in this uh, session, so I don't have to do that. Okay, I will just close this window and then let's proceed. So I will listen to the music. I will listen to the first clip. Okay, that gives me an idea about what can I compose visually. So maybe this is black and white. Let's make it all your reactive. Maybe this is too much threshold, so I will decrease the amount of reactions more density probably when I am happy with my composition I will just press new in here and this variation had been created so this will be synchronized with my vit1 this scene so in order to synchronize both, I need to name it the same way, exactly the same way. So 
be sure that you don't do typos or uh, let me see bit one okay then I will go to the second scene listen to it Okay, maybe this is a um, maybe something like that. I will activate the uh, temporary active temporary activity. And what about changing here a draw mode? Okay, I'm happy with it, so I will press new. And I will name that as my scene number two, which is bit two. Okay, time to test if the synchronization with the scenes is working. So when I will launch scene one, then the scene, the variation number one is gonna be launched as well. Let's see. There you go. Now let's launch the scene number two. Cool, let's listen to scene number three. The scene named bit three. Okay, let's try to put some color in here. And maybe something contrasting. Okay, a little bit of red. And some audio reactions. Okay, that will be my scene number three. Let's uh, press new and name that as scene number three, which this name is. So double click to name, then select the variations name and let's type bit three nice now i can switch between scenes let's turn the volume up let's jump directly to scene number three cool let's go ahead and record a visual composition for bit four this is more minimal. What about less color? Just points and less changes. Uh, just whole notes. Increase the point size and the zoom. Okay, well, maybe slower. Yeah. Okay, this is the scene. Four, which is called bit four. And it saved your work. Remember, I recommend to save your, your Ableton session, save it. So, or save it as you don't uh, allow to lose your work. Okay, we have four scenes to Improvise now. Let's go to scene number three. So you got it. You got it. This is the idea. So let's listen to bit number five. And we'll come back to black and white. Let's increase the zoom. The draw mode. Oh, maybe a little bit of red. Okay, then let's increase saturation. Oh, and let's put some mirror effects in here. Let's decrease the line width. Okay, new. And this is bit five. Okay, let's name it bit five. So sharing name with the scene number five.
And finally, let's listen to beat number six. I will increase for this one the uh, audio reactivity and make it black and white again, maybe. Okay, increase brightness. New. And this is bit six. Huh. Bit six, okay. And save your work. Okay, it's working. So maybe you can synchronize that also to clips, you know, if, if you name this as your clips, it will, the, this, the uh, different variations will also be triggered with your clips. Um, let me stop this for a little bit. Okay, now if you want to launch directly this, the different scenes, yeah, you can do it as well. And how to do that? Just press this button here, which is uh, a little page. Uh, sorry, now it's the, the button here with the arrow, arrow, and then you will see the same interface of your variations module. And now you can uh, MIDI map these buttons in here, which are these arrows. And so, what are these arrows? These arrows will allow you to walk through the different scenes going down going up and when you select after selecting the scene then you press this arrow and you will launch the selected uh, variation right then remember with with these arrows you will select the uh, variation and then you trigger and this if you press this button in here then you will automatically trigger the variation uh, which is already selected so when you press the arrow you change the variation to the next variation and it will be automatically triggered well okay guys that's all for now uh, if you heard if you have comments or questions just drop them in the comments of this video. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and if you have any ideas to share you can show your visuals. What are you creating with Geometrum? You can hashtag Geometrum02 on Instagram and I will definitely check out what are you creating with this Max Foley device that I programmed and okay let's let's uh, keep in touch and don't forget to check out the synesthetic devices web page which contains more max for live devices and you can subscribe to the mail list so you will get updates for geometrum 2 and other max for live devices for synesthetic performances thank you for watching see you in the next one
Eisen, 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 Eisen,